much better today. We had much better tempo and a little bit better execution. So it was good to see guys run around. That was a, that was a good practice. Really good practice. Okay, done. <laughs> <laughs> That's just uh, sort of what you expect after uh, you know they, they get their feet wet on the first day. Yeah, they were a little nervous yesterday, obviously, and uh, a lot of things were thrown at them. I think they've settled down. A bit. We had a lot more meeting time today. Uh, which always helps, but they had this, I mean, they had a great focus today. And, uh, I thought we did a good job with tempo. That was one of the emphasis. What did you see on the tape yesterday that you kind of wanted to emphasize going into this one, and how well do you think they responded to that? Well, I think there was a lot of guys that didn't know how to finish yesterday. I thought they finished a little bit better today, but tempo yesterday was just very, uh, just very average. And, uh, that was a point of emphasis in the meeting today. What do you think about how Fike is playing and sort of your expectations for him? He's going to be a, he's going to be a good player for us. We've got to keep him healthy. He's such a quarterback back there at the safety spot. He's guys lined up, he's constantly communicating. Um, has a great great range back there, so he's going to be a good player. How about with that one? Still, we he, I think he threw one to the other team today, which is not good. But uh, I thought he had a much better day today. I mean, he, he admitted to me yesterday he was a little nervous coming out, but uh, much better practice today. What have you kind of seen from or, uh, Appleby so far? Uh, he's coming. I thought his day was better, too. Um, I thought they all were a little bit shaky yesterday, uh, but uh, I thought he was a little bit better today. Surprised uh, he was nervous, but he's been here since the spring. You know, they all were a little bit nervous. He wasn't the only one. Some of those older guys were, were nervous, too. Yeah. I think you have an 85th scholarship open. Is that correct? And what do you plan on doing with that scholarship? If you do have one? Uh, we're going to sit on it right now. <laughs> what do you think of that? Um, what do you think of that secondary unit? How that's coming along? Obviously, returning some of the most starters on the team. There's a lot of good players back there. You know, Ricardo, Frankie, Landon, and, you know, all, all those guys. You know, uh, you know, Mondo's coming along. That's going to be a good. That might, I think, between the defensive line and the secondary, might be our deepest groups. You know, Landon led the team in tackles last year. I guess in, in your biggest. You know, as you look at your defense, should safeties be leading the team in tackles? Depends on where he's making them. If he's making them at the two-yard two gate, I'm fine with that. If he's making them 12 yards down the field, I'm not fine with that. But, uh, you know, the, the scheme of the defense, if we're playing a lot of quarters coverage where he's a downhill player, he should make those plays in four yards, three yards. Yeah. When will you uh, name captains and how will you name captains? What's the process? Uh, it's, uh, everybody in the organization gets a vote. Uh, not sure yet. Today, I thought they played uh, inspired. I thought they played vocally, which we need to do. We need to communicate better. But, uh, they, had a, they had some energy today. How, uh, what kind of problems are you having with the uh, linebacker group? Are they getting better? And uh, how is Coach Freeman's uh, vocal attitude helping them out? Uh, he, he'll, he'll teach them. Coach was a, was a great player and he's a good teacher. Um, and they're, they're willing. They're willing to learn. So that group will continue to get better each day. Are you seeing the kind of execution you want through each drill and uh, kind of the carryover from the spring into, into the summer? Today we did, for sure. I felt today, you know, I obviously you had to go watch the film, but uh, today I felt our execution was much better than it was yesterday. Both sides. How much do you think it helps to go back to the, the fundamentals a little bit when you have uh, no pads out here? Well, it's always good. We're going to do that whether we have pads or not pads. We've had five individual drills, and that's what those are for. It's all the specific skills of that position. Handle a young quarterback when you might need them to play. Do you uh, simplify things for him? Do you crash course it at all or fast track him? However, right now we throw the whole thing at him, and then when we get closer to the game, whoever the quarterback is, we give them what they can handle. Yeah, that's, that's the problem. There's too much of the play. It looked like you had that like primarily with the ones today, Rob, primarily with the ones yesterday. Is that just a matter of trying to get a 50 Yep, today? absolutely. That's what I'm going on in. And even specific drills, we want to go back and forth with the ones. So uh, when two of the three weeks comes along, I want them to be really close to even reps so we can make an honest decision. Which section did you read this morning from the manual? Uh, spiritual thoughts.
takes away from the first game still. I think we just got to continually improve every single opportunity, whether it's a meeting or a walkthrough or practice. Um, and, uh, Less than 30 days we'll be playing Cincinnati, and we got to make sure we're ready to go because that's a good football game.